in good shape. Your weekly dose of health information on Deutsche Welle. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition, wellness, and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio to offer their expert advice on in good shape. And with me in the studio is Dr. Christian Bernecker from the Helios Clinic in Bad Saru near to Berlin. Hello and Hello. welcome to the show. Let's talk a bit about diabetes type 2. And my patients always want to know, and our viewer, Margit Wiedmann from Brazil, also want to know, is too much sugar maybe the cause of diabetes? And I mean not too much sugar in our blood, but too much sugar in what we eat. That depends. If you eat too much sugar, it can cause, like all income of much, too much calories, it can cause overweight, obesity, and on this way it can cause a diabetes mellitus, but normally you can eat chocolate and stuff like that. I don't want to prohibit this. Well, that's good to know, but it's all about, <laughs> it's, it's more about um, being overweight, so fat and proteins in, in excess might be a cause of diabetes as well. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely true. We have um, several problems which can cause a diabetes. First, the, they are genetic factors then that are the uh, problem and on this we have the problem of obesity and too less exercise. Yeah, what about exercise? So if I go on a daily walk this might be enough to prevent diabetes? That might be enough, yeah. At least a little bit of exercise is better than no exercise. We would recommend around 150 to 180 minutes of moderate exercise every week. That means around 30 to 60 minutes a day or four or five times a week. And you said diabetes can be inherited, so the genes play a major role in developing diabetes. So if my grandma was suffering from diabetes, how likely is it that I will develop diabetes type 2 as well? T uh, type 2 diabetes that has also genetic factors. If you are the first offspring of the person who, who has the diabetes type 2, your relative risk will be five to ten times increased to the normal population. But it's not all about genetics, because diabetes is on the rise worldwide, and it's not about the gene pool. Yeah, the gene pool stays the same. Um, that has several, problem, uh, several problems. Uh, for example, the population is getting older, the age is increasing, and another problem is um, lifestyle factors. Less exercise, more calories will be the problem. So it comes down to the Western lifestyle with eating too much junk food and exercising not enough. You can't say like that. You can't say like this, okay. Um, most patients are afraid of those injections. So when it comes to treating diabetes, um, our viewer Idrisu Hardy from Ghana wants to know what are the options besides getting insulin injections? Insulin will be the last step normally. The first step in it insulin in diabetes therapy, type 2 diabetes therapy, will be lifestyle changes. More exercise, less calories. If the, this doesn't work, we would try, try oral medication. And if this doesn't work out, that's the last step, insulin injection. So, so this is the thing you say to your patients, don't worry, we start just with exercise and then we go on with pills. Yeah. Normally, it will be like this. If it's a very, very bad situation, the blood sugar levels are very high, you have uh, to start already on second or third step. But that's not so often. So it, it, it really seems possible to stop or slow down the process of the disease. Is this more a rule or is it an exception with this patient in the, the report? To slow down the disease, that can be, uh, you can say that will be a rule, mm -hmm. but it will be an exception that your diabetes will be healed afterwards. Um, so you have to say, normally you have to take at least oral medication. Mm -hmm. That depends on how motivated the patient will be to uh, keep um, um, a diet, a special calorie redu reduced diet and more exercise lifelong. That will be a lifelong problem. Yeah, motivation is the key, actually. It is the key. For me as a GP in my, in my office, it's always difficult to motivate my patients. So you as a diabetic specialist, you've got any trick how to motivate your patients to eat better stuff, to do more exercise? It would, it, it, if it would be so easy, we would heal diabetes just without medication. Right. I have no 
trick, but how effective it will be, you can say if you have a moderate re reduction of your weight around three kilograms, yeah, the, the rate of diabetes patient will be uh, just 50% of the uh, before that. So, so, so you could literally heal every second diabetes patient with just getting rid of the overweight problem? The studies we have, they so, say yes. They suggest this. And what kind of sports would you suggest to do? You told us in the first talk about 150 minutes per week, which comes down to two and a half hours. What kind of sports would you, would you do to exercise? I would uh, recommend moderate exercise like um, cycling, like walking, like rowing. Heavy weight lifting would be not so perfect because then you get more and more in the anaerobic uh, usage and that won't be so perfect. But, but even the moderate walk around the block That's could be perfect. sufficient. Um, our viewer Geoffrey Smith from Cape Town wants to know what are the warning signs of diabetes? So if you don't have a diabetes, can you figure out that you might be a diabetic? If you, that, that's true. There are some problems like the risk factors, obesity and uh, less exercise and genetic factors you can uh, also uh, regard as um, risk, uh, risk factors. Risk factors yeah. Yeah. So, but there, are there any warning signs like, like being very thirsty, for instance? Yeah, very, very. It's, it's one of the warning signs is you develop a severe diabetes that you will drink and drink more liquid and that you, the urine production will increase and increase. Okay. And afterwards, there are coming more signs, uh, more signs like uh, eye problems, and even in the worst scenario, it will get to a coma problem. But are you on the safe side if there are no symptoms, or can be diabetes a silent disease? That the main problem. That's it can be a silent uh, disease for a long time, and it will already cause problems, illnesses, stuff like this. So how often should you see your doctor and get checked for diabetes if there are no symptoms at all? I would recommend if you have, if you have no risk factors, starting with 45, mm -hmm. uh, blood sugar every three years. If okay. you have more, if you have one or two risk factors, starting immediately and uh, control maybe every one to every two years. And, and what kind of tests uh, do the diabetic expert uh, do um, to, for, for, for diagnosing diabetes? Is it just a simple blood test? It's just a simple blood test. You will measure blood sugar. You can also use a pre-testing, but a simple blood testing of fasting glucose after one night without eating is just perfect for that. So this doesn't hurt too much and diabetes does hurt at the end. Thank you so much, Dr. Benecker, for being with us here in the studio. Thank you. Bye.